Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. So last time we had a very difficult fight here where basically everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. But we survived. So we carry on. Now before we carry on, I'm actually going to go down this path because I've been looking at this, right? I think this is a dead end. Uh, and I'd like to know wish. if it's a dead end now so that, you know, we don't have to come back and check it later. I'd rather check it while we're next to it than check it later. It is definitely not a dead end. Okay, good to know. Right, uh, we're going to go the way we cleared out last time. We know that there is no shadows here because we killed them all. We know that there's nothing going to attack us from behind because we killed them all. So, let us carry on. We don't even know if this is where we need to be. I'm assuming the old sewers is where we need to be, but this could be another part of the old sewers. This could be some completely unrelated quest. This could just be an area. Although the music is getting a little bit ominous for it to just be an area. My weapon has no effect. Bye, Uncle I know your Spanky. weapon has no effect, has but no honestly, effect. like, it's not the biggest Blood problem I have right now. My weapon has no there effect. we go. My Kill it. Has no effect. Perfect. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather him just, like, honestly, you can just shoot these um, arrows. It doesn't really bother me. It's I fine. stand ready. So be it. Right go through here. I don't know whether the bolts aren't doing anything. He doesn't say my weapon has no effect, but I assume that the bolts also are doing nothing. Although his weapon, I think, is better, isn't it? What's his weapon? No. His weapon isn't anything special, so yeah. I don't know. I guess his bolts are doing uh, nothing as well, so it's probably worth remembering that we need to get special bolts at some point. I pledge my service and my life, if need be. This is a little ominous. An open door gives me um, you know, bad thoughts. Okay. There's a wheel. As you near the center of the room, the doors clang shut and you hear the hiss of gas. An orange cloud begins to feel, uh, fill the now sealed chamber. Keldorn? Undo. <clears throat> You're too far away to use that. What do you mean, Keldorn? Oh, even a dent? Okay, are these shadows? Vampiric mists. Okay, Keldorn. Okay, you're gonna attack that. Jahira, here. Yoshimo, here. You, press it. All right, and honor! You're too far away to use that. Wait, uh, those vapors. That means I can use zone of clean air. Wait, I don't even, I don't have it learned. I remember the spell, I just don't have it. Right, it is your spell, right? Uh, what's it look like? It's somewhere in here. Yeah, Zone of Sweet Air. Yeah, I don't have that spell. Okay. Um, you. Can I not move you? I think the problem is I can't move anyone. My weapon has no effect. Perhaps turning it will reveal its function. Yeah, yeah. My weapon has no effect. Cause the doors to open. Hey! Wonderful. Right. I don't know why everybody can't move, but attack it. Oh, because this isn't a movable territory. This is just garbage. Okay, I understand. Good, get your sword out. Stab it. Hit it. Hit it. Leave me be. Hit it. Keldorn, you're doing a great job. Bang up job. All right, kill it. Get out of the cloud. Kill fog. One at a time. Up, oh, no, get out of the fog. Okay, oh, that's why they couldn't move, because they were invisible things. Okay, um, you need to heal. Ah, uh, right, let's grab some of those. There we go, worked eventually. Uh, I gave them to the wrong person, but you also need to heal. Okay, um... One to you. Okay. Is it death? Duty calls, I see. In okay, Torn's back off. Name, I shall serve. Kill it. Good is on our side also, what did he just say? Do. In someone's name, I will serve. A Torn. No That's what he said. I thought he said in Dorn's name, My and I was like, what no are effect. you talking about? Okay. I wish to save it this time. All right, I think there are still enemies. Reckon cloud kills gonna wear off? 
Okay, you're going to heal us all. There we go. Because it's the quickest way to heal. Yes. Cool. I expected as much. It's a bit of a waste, but it is the quickest way to heal. And my quick saves work. And the cloud kill is gone. Alright, so walk through this chamber. It would be brilliant if the door just shut again. Just like, uh, how stupid are you? Uh, hello. Gal. What's up, Gal? Hold! You tread on sacred ground. Only those who serve the unseeing eye may enter. I am Gaul, High Priest of the One God. I wish to know more. How does one serve your unseeing eye? The One God has demanded his disciples achieve a higher state of wisdom. You must remove that which is limiting and offensive. The unholy eyes are removed from your head during the sacred initiation. If you survive and are proven faithful, the unseeing eye accepts you into service. And if you don't survive? Sadly, there are those who lack the stamina to serve the one god. Their faith betrays them. The bodies of these unfortunates are offered to the pit of the faithless. Okay. Um... I would like to learn more, but what if I'm not interested in having my eyes removed? Hmm. It is a sign of weakness to refuse the enlightenment. Would you walk about willingly without arms, without feet? I do not think so. Still, the unseeing eye could use the skills of one such as yourself. An exception could perhaps be made in your case. There is something that you could do that the Great One cannot, despite his vast power. Assist in that, and I will admit you into our ranks and into the unseeing one's presence. Yes? Well, tell me what it is and I'll consider it. These unholy, or these holy grounds are part of a larger ancient structure. Dangerous if one ventures into the lower levels. The unseeing eye knows of a valuable item in this area. If you were to venture below, you could prove your worth by retrieving this artifact for him. Do this, and I will allow you into our ranks, and the One's Divine Presence. Okay, what's this item you speak of, and where would I locate it? The item is a rod, or part of a rod, rather, that you will find atop a holy altar. I cannot tell you more than that. Must let your faith guide you. And how would I get to these lower levels? I have a key that I can give you. This will allow you entrance into to the inner chambers through a door a short distance back the way you came at the sewer passages. Oh, you mean the door that we saw and didn't go through? That's very convenient. Well, I'll do as you suggest. You are worthy in my eyes, faithless, or faithful one. Here is the key. Once you have the rod, bring it to me and together we shall present it to the unseeing eye. Hmm. It seems to me that if this task cannot be performed by a beholder or its minions, that we are in for a chore indeed. Best to proceed most cautiously, Felix. If this task cannot be performed by a beholder or its minions? Um... I await your order. I may have missed a step here. I shall do my Did we utmost. know it was a beholder? That seems like a leap of logic. No? I mean... It kind of makes sense. I, I get, they are kind of all of our eyes. But I did not know it was a beholder. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to assume the game told us that out of order. Or it assumed that we would have learned it from somewhere else. Huh. Because I do not remember that at all. Or I've forgotten. But it seems like an odd thing to forget, you know? Ah, you see, this is what I thought by dead end. I thought I could see, like, the end here. But, okay. That explains it. Uh, in we go. Why did you stop detecting traps and illusions? Okay. Well, that's fine. As long as you start again. Oh, wait. And we'll move. And we'll wait. And we'll move. How? How? How could you possibly have walked it? No. 
I disagree. I, as you wish. I disagree. I, I can dance on the head of a pin as well. There we go. <laughs> um, I should be able to detect so traps. It. The fact that there was a trap there seems very unfair. I was actually stopping and waiting for them. As you're meant to do. Yoshimo, round the corner. The foot and all that. I guess we could put Yoshimo at the front, maybe? Just for right this second. I pledge my service Just and so my that life he, um, be. Yeah, can scan for traps. For the good. I would have loved it if I'd walked into a trap In there. Tom's I love, name, I mean hate, I but you know, serve. it would have been really funny. Okay, Sasar. Hello, who are you? Be wary, my friends. Someone has come before us. I can sense it. Hmm. Um, uh, more of you have no eyes. Are you followers of the unseeing eye, then? No, my lord, we are not. Or perhaps it is correct to say we are worshippers no longer. What brings you to this place? First, tell me what you mean when you say you are no longer worshippers. My name is Sassar. I was once the one god's high priest. And I discovered the true depth of his evil. I escaped and met up with others who had left the cult. We tried to stop the Beholder. I, okay, it's a Beholder. Good to know. We have lost the senses he gifted to us for taking our eyes. We are truly blind, stumbling in our efforts to stop this evil. Okay. Uh, just how are you planning on stopping the Beholder? When I was High Priest for the Unseeing Eye, I discovered that his purpose for coming here was to gain the powerful artifact below. It is an item of such destructive power that the gods themselves determined it should not be used again. It was split in two, and this half was secreted here. It is protected against intrusion by powerful magic and beasts that live in the caverns. Many of the Beholder's followers have perished trying to retrieve it. I know, my lord, that the Beholder has the other half of the rod. If he were to acquire this half, he would be capable of wrecking terrible uh, destruction. Okay. Uh, what have you done here if you can't stop the Beholder from trying to get the rod? We tried to get the second half of the rod ourselves, to use its destructive power to defeat the Beholder. That is the only way to destroy the creature. Have you tried arrows? The Beholder has failed to acquire the rod because the gods have cursed the item. This lets you determine the artifact's true worth or threat. Would you be... Would you be willing to go below and retrieve the artifact, my lord? Can this half of the rod work without the other half? No, that is true. The Beholder's half must be stolen for the power to be used. I know of a way to do this. Retrieve the first half and I shall tell you of it. Okay. I am most grateful, my lord. We have tried, but our blindness limits us. This chamber we are in is safe, so long as the sarcophagus is not opened. I would ask that you do not open it yourself. I sense great evil from it. And I do wish my brethren and I to remain safe here. Oh, I pray that my god will someday forgive me for my great trespass and restore my sight. Be careful on the levels below. Remember that the gods will likely not allow one to take the artifact for themselves for long. Remember that. Godspeed. Okay, well, I think this is probably the uh, lich. Like, one of the parts of it. So, I'm 100% opening the sarcophagus. Um, but, like, it's not permanent. Also, this is a invisible door. I'll wait. Is this not a... Okay, it might be a way back out, maybe. Okay, 100% opening this. You're too far away. Yes, yes. A standard tactic, that. Okay. Uh, evil, magical... You should not have come yeah. to this place. Yeah, it's Kangax. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I have a note for Kang Kangax, don't I? Uh... Kangax. Yes, I do have a note. Let's uh, edit entry. There we go. Kangax. Sewers. Old. Sewer. Uh, I guess I should say lich, although I'm assuming they're all going to be liches. 
Cool. Well, at least that works. That's, that's kind of useful. Aye, right. as you wish. Um, it just looked like the same type of chamber, so I thought we should check that out just to confirm. But obviously we have no, um, you know, interest in actually doing anything there. Zalus and Garuk. Hello. I trust that all is well. Yeah, ever. Thanks, friend. We've been able to only do so much against the Beholder without our eyes. Clan get and watch over you. Good day to you. I'm Zalus, and I've been assisting Cesar in researching the rod below. I truly thank you for helping us. Okay. Grab that. It's locked. Oh, no, 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 no. I can dance on the it head of a open. pin as well. Wonderful. Right, over here. And then in here. Nice, we got bolts. So these can both go to him. Learn it. Wonderful. Bolts. Bolts plus two. They can go to you. They can sit somewhere. That seems fine. Yeah, cool. Close that. I stand ready. Uh, can we just walk so through here? Maybe it's not a secret wall. Maybe it's actually just a hole in the wall. Yes. Okay, it's just a hole in the wall. Never mind. Well, that would explain why we did not uh, discover anything there. <laughs> okay. Aye, as you wish. <laughs> the one save scum I'm 100% doing. Uh, I'm yes. Ready. Disable I the trap. Dance on the head of a pin as well. We've invested everything into trap so disabling. We have them at the front. We have them fully prepared to disable traps. You know, we've done everything that we should do. The fact the traps are not disabled is not really our fault at this point. Now, could I have a little bit more patience? Maybe, but you know, whatever. Okay, okay, I hear you. Go on the magic weapon. Your worthless lives end here. Right. I think chain lightning would work. I'm I'm a fan of chain lightning. Yeah, let's let's do some uh, chain lightning. And cast. Hit him. That worked really well. Okay. Okay, he's still stunned, and he's been energy drained. Nice. So he's lost stats. Okay, he lost Charisma. Well, to be fair, that's the best stat for him to lose. Because it doesn't really matter. But, we shall sit. And we shall wait for Hold to wear off. Which it will do. At some point. There, oh, oh. Is that wearing off? It is. Nice. I pledge my service and my life if need Oh, it's be. locked. Okay, open it. Fleet of foot and all that. Oh, okay. So we can't get through there. For the good. That's fair. Being very paranoid as we move. Go. Go. Yeah, no traps in the you stairs. Must gather That's your for party the best. Before venturing forth. And then we we go. Big area, but open area. In Tom's name. A like surprisingly suck. open area. Okay. Oh, but nothing on this side. Like, this side's kind of... Oh, no, there's a little hole in the wall. Okay, so yeah, it is open. That looks like a hand. Oh, kill him. Kill him. And kill him. I know we're using the good arrows, but, you know, given that we've needed them here. It feels like a good idea. Head over here. Just be very careful. Very, very careful. Very, very, very careful. Okay. Inch by inch. Discovering nothing whatsoever. Ghasts. Kill them. That's a lot of gas. Yeah, no okay, sport. um, I need a chain lightning stat. Go. Just attack whoever's Yoshimo nearest. Is willing. Oh, get back to your crossbow. Yes, yes, a standard oh. tactic that. Attack. 
Attack. Nice chain lightning. Okay. Do damage. Backline squad, this one. Kill it. Now kill that one. Nice. Now this one. Yoshimo's taking poison damage. Has he actually been poisoned? I think so. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Dent? Uh, do you have neutralized poison? I think you do. Uh, neutralize, cure disease. Slow poison? That'll do. Let's see if that works. Uh, it is done. Did that work? I don't think so. What else have we got? Is it actually a poison or is it a disease? It's diseased. Ah, cure disease. That'll be it. Right. Go. Not even a dent? Wait oh. for it. Oh, solid. Nice. Kill. To battle with vengeance. Have we got it? We have got it. Cool. I expect Grab these. Group up. And do a save. Let them all work out where they're standing. Uh, might be worth just doing a heal here. Yeah, let's just heal them up. And then we'll see how he looks. Okay. I shall Quick do save my utmost. And keep stepping forward by just like tiny step by tiny step. A great tear in the earth has split asunder the structure before you. The roof of the structure is covered in tiny but intricate designs. We do well to investigate them. Uh huh. I would do. You're would I? You're right behind me, right? Okay. I I'm actually going to head back. I think that's the objective. I'm going to go straight forward in the room. Yeah. I want to not do the objective first. Oh, kill the gibberlings. These uh, should be easy. Boring? I'll give it that. Do you think there's going to be like just normal enemy, or there's going to be enemies that are just weak? Uh, to battle and they're like and the victory. ones that constantly spawn? I think that seems likely. Uh, this can go in here. Let's move that back. These can go into there. Cool. Right. So be it. Keep going. Do a little quick save. Move up this way. Ooh. Happy we came up here. What do you what need? have we got? I am skilled. Very well. Okay. Hiya. Get it. Okay, do not unpause. Because I'm thinking we're going to be attacked. What are these? Enchanted weapon. Tensor's transformation. Old undead. Which we have. And then vampiric touch. Which we have. So these two are going in here. Uh, let's give these two to Yan. That's fine. I'll do a little potion of genius. And then we're just going to learn those. Nice. Failed to get that one. I thought Potion of Genius put, it puts your intelligence up by four. So yeah, I guess that only puts his intelligence to what? 20. So almost perfect. But yeah, still a chance of failing. Okay. That's fine. We got 6,000 experience. We strike a blow deep into oh, it also only heart. lasts for about there half no a second. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, so I'm happy we went there to discover that. Because, well, you know, that, there was only one thing there. You know, this area reminds me a lot of an area, I think it's in Pillars of Eternity. Yeah, there's a very similar area, with like a dungeon that's underneath a manor. Um, if it ends up being much more similar, I would assume that, you know, the inspiration came from here. Just because, well, inspiration for most of that game came from here, in some way or another, or came from Baldur's Gate. And other such uh, games of this type so yeah but it, it this looks like this has a very familiar feeling to me this whole whole thing even the color of the uh, architecture because they had a thing called adra in that one which was kind of like this color of stone so it makes sense okay um the bridge has fallen and ends in death call forth the name to summon the path What's the name of the bridge? I don't understand. What do you wish to know? 
The bridge will rise for those who belong. Speak of the bridge to show you belong. Show you belong or suffer the end. The bridge has fallen and ends in death. Call forth the name to summon the path. What is the bridge? Bridge has fallen and ends in death. It's a riddle, right? So the bridge has fallen and ends in death. I mean, life seems like the obvious one. But the problem with life is it fits the ends in death, as do a lot of these, but the bridge has fallen. Unless that's not... Hmm. Yeah. I, I will return later. The bridge will not rise if you do not belong. Speak of the bridge to show you belong. Okay. Um, it did say look at the intricate patterns. So I'm just going to see if there's anything that we can do here. Also, the uh, pro move is you get Dimension Door and you just go bloop, and then you're past. But that's probably not what they want you to do here. Um, yeah, I don't see anything else to click on. Well, life seems like the obvious answer to the question, right? Bridge has fallen. I don't think the bridge has fallen matters. I think... Maybe life? Bridge has fallen, ends in death. Well, we can eliminate a bunch, right? So wealth, probably not. Honor, no. Disease, no. Maybe all of these are right. Uh, existence is my answer. Existence, life. I think life is still there. Mercy, age, ruin. I think it has to be life. Life is the bridge that must end in death, though duty may hold it at bay. You've spoken of the bridge, but this alone is not enough. You are not alone on the bridge. Call forth the name to summon the path. It travels with you, and through it you travel. Yet, it does leave you behind. Who is with you? Okay. It travels with you, and through it you travel. But it does leave you behind. Okay. So. The bridge is... Okay, so. It travels with you, so you carry it with you. And you travel through it, it, it does leave you behind. Alright. The road it travels with you, and through it you travel, it, it does leave you behind. No, time. Maybe? Maybe time? You travel through time? Yeah. Time is with you, and you travel through it, and all the while it moves away. Time goes on, and without you, through duty, may make it wait. No duty may make it wait. The bridge is not stable, and the end changes place. Call forth the name to summon the path. Choose the most difficult step on the bridge. Hmm. Bridge is not stable, and the end changes place. Hmm. The first one for there is fear in the unknown, the current one for it allows my choice. So, so, sorry, for it alone is my choice. Or the last one is the end of the journey is death. Fear of the unknown? Your first step is not of your choice. You are placed on the bridge that is life by providence. The first step is over before you have begun. You have failed. Death sends a servant to educate. Kill it. A dangerous <gasps> mistake. Kill my it. weapon has no effect. Not even a scratch. My weapon has no effect. My weapon has no effect. My weapon has no effect. Weapon has no effect. All right, yes. switch, switch to these. Kill to it. battle oh, and victory. Scratch. Weapon okay. has no effect. Everyone's like my weapon. It's no effect. Not even a scratch. Weapon has no effect. A little help here. I'm gonna reload. Aye, okay. As you wish. So now I understand the context of this one. We're just gonna do the, the riddle correctly, I think. Okay, but we're going to work it out before it gives us the answer. So it's life, time, um, okay, the most difficult step on the bridge. It has to be the current one, for it, for it alone is my choice, right? This is the most difficult step is to make a choice, I guess is what they're going for. Because the first one, we said it wasn't our choice, the last one isn't our choice, so therefore the middle one has to be our choice. The current step may be your first and may also be your last. The other two are abstract. This one is yours to choose and shape, though duty may force the choosing. You have summoned a path and may join the guardling duty awaits you. 
Oh, okay. With a screech of stone and stone, the bridge repairs itself and allows you to access the other side. The voice offers no further riddles. Okay, we got it. I mean, second try. I didn't understand. Oh my god, it's beholders. Good is on our side Kill them. I thought we were told beholders could only be killed by uh, the special thing, but now we're fighting beholders? It doesn't seem right. You will fall. Okay, um. Somebody's dead? Wait. Oh no, Edwin left. Okay. I forgot Edwin did that. Alright. Um, Aye, as you wish. Where do we even start? I guess ghost armor is where we start. Uh, ghost armor on you. Followed by ghost armor on you. Which we'll get to eventually. Ghost armor on you. Be doubly careful. I'm sure all manner of stupid mouse traps await our toes in the dark. And ghost armor on you. There we go. Stone skin. Get that one in here as well. I'm gonna do that. I'm then gonna rearrange our so party. Be it. Just so we have Jahira at the front. Right. Quick save. Give us some haste. Let's go. I pledge my service and my life if need be. Whoa, too fast. There we go. Kill it. Ow. My talents are wasted on physical blows. Oh my god, she's almost dead. She just took so much damage for being the first one over the uh, bridge. Okay. She is really, really low on health, and I have... Okay, I can heal her. I was going to say I have no way of healing her, but that is not true. She can, in fact, drink. Nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to do some things here. Let's figure out what we need. Uh, chain lightning. Power word silence. Power word, power word silence. You. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what your plan is here. Maybe your plan is hit them with a magic missile. A dangerous mistake. Oh, you will fall yet. Life end here. Keep healing. What's she got on her? Spell failure. Oh, that's fine. Even hand to hand, I think. Oh, the problem is if they die like that, you can't res them ever. Uh, uh, yeah, so we have to reload that one. Okay. Let Keldorn go first. I think we're think we're learning something here. Aye, as Keldorn. You wish. Oh, he's immune to free action. He's immune to haste because he has free action. He's unaffected by movement it spells. I just realized that. That's kind so of funny. So be it. I am willing. A little bit for for the forward. I pledge Keep my walking. service and my life. I if go. Need be. Keep walking. <clears throat> yeah, let him just take all the damage. Heal. Attack. <clears throat> <clears throat> Out, heal, attack. A dangerous mistake. We've been stopped in place. That's not good. There we go. Heal, heal. Edwin, I need something to be cast here. Uh, I don't know what we want to cast though. Use flesh to stone on Edwin. Ah, so that's what's been killing us instantly. I understand that. Power word silence on the beholder. You. Magic magic missile on the beholder. Do the outrages never end? My spell has right. failed. Uh keep spamming that. Every time you get an opportunity. I stand Heal. ready. Heal. Uh, you yes. keep shooting. To battle! Actually, and we could find you something better. Shoot with those with those arrows. The pain nearly overwhelms me. Drink it. If you have aid to offer, I would gladly buy it. Drink the potion. The least you could do is keep it in good health. Uh, you're about to die. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab that. Move that over here. Why don't you just take a little sip? Well, at least you know, did that. Okay, we killed one of them, and now we get hit by a wave of other things. Okay, this is horrible. 
How are we going to handle I, this fight? Wish. So whoever we send in first gets absolutely destroyed. What if we send in Kithix? So be it. You know? Let's go this far forward. You? I want you to cast haste. Actually, let's get you to cast haste, and I can do two things at once. You cast haste. You? I want you to summon Kithix here. Attack it. I stand Ow. ready. Edwin, run. If I must. What I forward? pledge my service and my life if need Why are there two of these this things here? Boring. I'll give there it are now that. two Goths he here. Uh, wait a second. It. So why are there two? Were there always two? <sighs> I mean, we got absolutely destroyed that time, but why are there more? Huh. Aye, as you wish. Okay, that's interesting. Got anything else that's worth casting? Spell turning, maybe? How long does that last for? Minor spell turning. Four spell levels. Hmm. Three rounds per level. Maybe spell turning? If I then must. Walk up, and then we'll see what we can do in terms of summoning people. Another dank hole with which to improve One of these. my mood. Sure. One of these. There we go. Cause serious wounds. Are these being reflected? Ow. We've been I hit. Stand ready. So be it. Okay, back off. Back off. Now we're gonna let you heal. We're gonna give you one of... Well, we'll give you both of these right now. Drink. Uh, get, get us a little haste going. You got bless for us? Give us a bless. Okay. Don't know how Kithix is doing. Don't know how any of that's going. I pledge my service and my life if need Go be. Go forward. There's the beholder. Kill. Actually, you? Your job is to shoot the beholder. With that. Shoot it. Take that, Turner Payton scum! Don't know where oh, they went, but that's okay. It. You? You can start casting that on the Beholder. You can start casting that on the Beholder. Ugh. We've lost a hero. A solid hit. Lots of damage went down on the Beholder there. That's fantastic news. Keep hitting the Beholder. Ah. Nice. Edwin has turned against us. I need you to dominate Edwin. To okay. battle and victory! You, you're gonna shoot that one. You, you're gonna hit that one. You have a plan. You're gonna hit that one. To Go. battle and victory! Uh. Okay. Uh. Gonna need like a you. big heal from you here. Let's grab two of those, chuck them over. Drink one. You're now uh, you're now gonna drink one as well. Did that work? Did we dominate him? I don't think we did. Dominate him. Or her, I guess at this point. Attack. A little help here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heal again. Hey, it worked. Right. Backline. Or everybody attack this, this one. Isn't boring. Including you, Kithix. Oh, Kithix is in the, is not in a good this spot right isn't now. Boring. I see. I'll it all it all all We're all hitting. You need to heal. Okay, everybody hit it. Tom, take you. We did it. <laughs> we killed the beholders. For the good. All right. Um. Duty calls, I see. I mean, chuck one of those. Yes. Quick in save. Tom's it's time name, for us to head out of here. I shall serve. Oh, right. We're, we're, we're currently held. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, we'll fix that. You know what would be really useful ah, for us? A second res. Sellers. I think that would Except be incredibly useful. Isn't passed out by the turnip still in the corner. Mm hmm I'm waiting. 
at some point, I'm sure it will wear off. It's all a matter of time. Oh, okay, haste tore off. However, we still have hold person on us. I guess I could try and remove it, but I mean, it'll, it'll wear off. Hmm. This gives us a rough idea of what level the beholder was. Because it, ah, it's how long we're sitting here for. Turnip sellers. Except Uncle Gerhardt isn't passed out by the turnip still in the corner. Can I use this? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess oh, we could. Labor will help. Why don't you try that? Nope. All right, do it again. It's not working. Do it again. Okay, one last time. Another dank hole with which to improve my mood. Hmm. Joke. Did not work. Also, I got confusion. No. Spell shield. That you see, that would have been useful. I feel your hey, spell. Hey, 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 hey. Die. Die. I, I, I hey, expected hey. as much. I know why they're attacking each other. Is very funny, but no. The reason they're attacking each other is because before we got held, we were attacking Edwin. Um, and Edwin is attacking because the default attack thing. Actually, do tactics reset if the character dies? No. Okay, good. Uh, but the default um, I shall do my attack thing, I think, attacks back somebody who attacks you. So therefore, it caused that loop where, ah, we're attacking because we used to be attacking, and they're attacking because they're being I attacked. As you wish. It puts you in a very odd spot. Anyway. It's time to leave the sewer. Okay. Oh, it's kind of punishing to walk back. I'm 50-50 I'm on whether I like it being punishing to walk back. I mean, it definitely does cause you consequences, right? If somebody dies, you have to stop what you're doing and go res them. It definitely gives you an incentive beyond just, you know, like, normal incentives to not have a party member die. It's like, if a party member dies, I'm going to have to spend all this time going and getting them back. Right? And if they put a res on the so outside of the dungeon, like, what's the point? Right? You would obviously just use the res on the outside of the dungeon. So I get it. But I also, at the same time, I can get it and be like, yeah, but is, is it really fun to walk all the way back? It's an odd one, right? Because this is definitely more punishing, which means that you end up in situations that are odd. And if obviously, if it, you die in a more... In a worse situation than this. I mean, we're just going to the temple district healing and then going back down. But if you were to die in another we place, like deep you were into evil's heart, there is no uh, more worthy. I forgot these made this noise. Um, if you were to die out in the wilderness, you would then have to take random encounters as you were coming back. It would give you life like emergent be. stories, which is kind of cool. I don't know. I'm gonna 50/50 on it. I'm not. I don't hate it. I'm just like, hmm, didn't think about it before. Is anyone actually alive here? Mistress Ada? Are you somebody I can ask for help? Yes, I do require your services. Uh, I require you to res, first of all. I'll pay for the full resurrection, and then can I get a greater restoration? No, like a greater, greater restoration. Oh, dispel magic. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That works. Uh, and then everyone else is fine. For the good. Okay, pen back down there. I need to go and get Jahira's items. Okay. In Tom's name, I shall serve. Head down this way. I must have rest. As we can see, friend. what happens if we go the I other have way no in? Wish to be weary when my skills call for careful. You still go through there. Okay, so whichever way you go, you come in, you basically enter in that way, unless you come in through this route, wherever that one is. Okay. Cool. But you exit out the same one, because how would it know which one you want to exit out of? I also know that he needs to rest, but I don't trust the game to keep my items there. So the, the sooner we can go back, the sooner we can get the items. All these items have been here the whole time, so... You must gather your you know. party before venturing forth. I Maybe I should trust utmost. it, but I don't. I have a natural just distrust of leaving items on the ground in games and expecting them to still be there when I get back. 
Right. Let's go. Everyone back into the dark tunnel. We could try resting down here. I don't know what the chances are, but it's not enhanced edition content, so there's a chance we'll actually be allowed to rest. I don't know. We'll see. All the way down you here. Gather your party before venturing for us. Also, how weird is it to have an item that um, destroys beholders blocked by a beholder guard? That seems really odd. <laughs> I just realized that here, because this is what effectively we're doing. We're, we're breaking in past a beholder to then go and get something to destroy a beholder? Seems odd. Right. That's all you had on you? Okay. Well, it's fine. Uh, which one was it? Oh, the other staff. There we go. Give you armor. Give. Oh, you don't need those on. You don't need that one on. Put that one there. This lives in the corner. Perfect. You're back. To, you're back to the way you were. I think. It is done. Now the next question is: Do these guys have any loot? Don't think so. Okay. So be let's it. Let's move over here into the corner and let's see whether we can rest. Either that or we need to head all the way out here to rest, which would not be ideal. Yeah! I told you. I my service we're we're, my we're allowed to rest here because be. it's uh, not enhanced edition content. It's incredible. Oh, also you? Um, yeah, back to the not so good arrows, but still good. I mean, I guess I'll do that for just now. Just give you a new stack and then actually... Yeah, we'll just stack some of that up and give us some inventory space. Well, good. We did see a whole bunch running in from here at one point. I wonder what caused that to spawn. I don't know. I assume that we bypassed the spawn because uh, the beholder was no longer over here. It was over here. But still, we need to be wary that that could happen. Could have just been a random spawn, I guess. What is this? It is... Ashidani. Or, sorry, Ashi Dina. Lady Ashidina was a remarkable strategist who honed her skills against the orc armies in the Year of the Black Horde. She met Durgat Wilton, the warrior that wields this weapon, when he foiled an ambush led by the great orc Varstok, and soon after made him her field captain. After serving at each other's sides for the entirety of the war, they fell in love and eventually married. Historians report that Durgat named his Warhammer after his bride to remind himself of the love he fought to protect. What Lady Ash Ashidina thought of this is unknown. Okay, it's a cool Warhammer. It's a plus three Warhammer. Well, plus two Thaco. Okay. Um, you can join the Warhammer collection that we have in our bag. Of really cool lightning-based Warhammers, which we can't heart. use. <laughs> there is no more worthier anyway. There's the shadows. I guess we must have just walked close enough last time. Kill him. Yeah, we'll just let uh, the AI handle this fight. My uncle Spanky okay, stop. maybe I'll uh, help. To battle. Now this one. To now this one. Okay. Oh, there you go. You said not even a dent, so that means he can't harm these things. It's good to know. In which case, uh, you should be using these bolts. Nice. Cool. And kill. Now, uh, I'm going to need some heals, but that's good. you got a lot of time because he's currently held. I don't know what the X means. What's the other X mean? Ability score drained. Lovely. Lovely. Love to Nature's see it. Servant awaits. He's, he just collects these. I think it's about to wear off. I heard something wearing off. Oh, it did wear off. Cool. The ability score down didn't wear off, but that's fine. Heal him again. Quick save. Let's go. Well, we already killed a beholder down here, so I'm hoping that's the biggest thing we have to fight. Sorry, throg in my throat. Sorry for the cut in the video there. Um, yeah, we need to. Head, we actually need to head back here, and we need to give him something so that he can actually walk, because uh, he's too over encumbered. Can you drink this? Cannot be drunk by a thief. 
Ah, well, that's a problem. I threw away all my things that give you um, increased, like, uh, what's it called? Increased strength. Yeah, okay, regretting that now. Let's maybe take these off of him. Would that help? Yeah, now he can walk. I expected as Just much. don't carry every antidote with you. You know I what? Await your need. Let's not give all the antidotes to the person who can cure um poison. I shall do my utmost. Let's give the antidotes to somebody who can't cure poison naturally. I, as you wish. <sighs> Another trap. I'll wait. I can dance on the head of a pin there we as well. Uh, I guess we need to put you back at the front with your so reduced stats. Quick save. I thought I was being relatively careful walking in here. I was incorrect. Okay. Keep quick saving. This seems too easy. It seems that walking in a straight line is way too easy. Wait for Keldorn. Diseased one diseased child. Uh, hello. Yes? Hello. Um, that's it. I'm a stranger in your time-lost buried city, and all you say is, hello. What would you have me say? Shall I proclaim the wonder of your arrival? Shall I bemoan the terrible length of the ages? Should my knees buckle at the very sight of you? I'm sure it'd make you feel very impo uh, feel important, but I have simply no interest in you. I think you'll find we care about very little at all. Who are you, then? Tell me about this place. Ah, you wish the exposition. Typical. I really should write this down so I don't have to keep repeating it. Not that we have a, had a lot of visitors. We are the guardians. We guard the temple. This is very important because every few hundred years, someone almost wanders this way. We have forgotten what it is we guard. We have forgotten how many generations we have been here. And we have forgotten what it is to have a purpose. Um, but you must be serving some greater plan. Who is the temple dedicated to? Temple? Oh, it has been so long we have uttered the god's name. It has been so long since we have uttered the god's name that it has been forgotten by most. What loyalty do we owe a creature who would condemn us to this? And why do you stay? We cannot leave. We cannot even die. We are born again in an endless recycling of our souls. We learn over and over again that we are condemned to a fate that we no longer want. And what is this disease you are afflicted with? It is the decay of our minds and souls. We go to hate the power that sustains us so it rots us from the inside. There is no cure. There is no escape. There is no end. Um, then I will try to release you somehow. Oh, do what you will. There is no escape for us. We've accepted this. We teach it to the newly young, who then teach it to the old that die and are reborn. The deal which placed us here has been followed to the letter, and we are never to be released from service no matter how pointless the task. You will fail. You cannot help but fail. We know this. We expect nothing other. Um. Okay. Um. Your worship suffering. You worship suffering like a martyr of ill matter, but you lack pride or purpose. I don't know this name that you speak of, but even the name of our own god is lost, so it's not surprising. We direct nothing but loathing to the temple now. Take what you will, your guardians name only. Might as well be simple mindless skeletons. Okay. Uh, interesting. Um, well, I mean, this is fine. I pledge my service to the and children? my life if need be. Who are you? Leave me alone. You just leave and go. How old are you, child? Doesn't matter. I'll be old, then young, a dozen more times. Go away. Alright, I'm going to speak to this child. You're a stranger. You want to see what we've made? You can go into the temple and see what we've made. We can't because it's ours. We forget. You can see it, but cannot fight it. What are you talking about, child? You will see. I cannot see, but that's because it's mine. You will see. I cannot fight it. Um, what can I not fight? What do you speak of? Send our thoughts to the temple, we do. Thoughts of wounded faith. Can you fight a wound in faith? Go away. My fun is done years ago. 
Okay. So we're gonna fight some aversion to faith? Interesting. Well, at least we can explore this area in relative confidence that there's probably gonna be nothing. There was a petrification thing right there that destroyed us and I'm like, oh, there'll be nothing else. There might be many things else. Quick save and walk. Disease one. Hello. Might as well have a chat. Hmm? Soon to sleep and wake. No sooner dead than born. Stay here too long and you may find yourself strapped to the Wheel of Fortune too. Okay. Weirdly, you know I was talking about Pillars of Eter Eternity earlier. Another very similar thing. <laughs> the the wheel, the cycle wheel of uh, life and death. Another theme in that game. I just find it interesting. It's a similar um, thing here. Definitely makes me feel like some of this was inspiration, which is obviously it makes sense that it might have been. Yeah. Away with you, shadows. We are in darkness already. What do you mean by that? I am no shadow. No, perhaps not, but we are in darkness. The light of the sun did shine, but it has gone away, and we curse the night. Leave us be. You can do nothing. Okay. So there's the ancient temple, but what's in, like, the ancient greenhouse? As you look through the door, you see the interior of this building has fallen into disrepair. Be foolish to enter. Alright, well, I will not enter then. That's fine. Let's head down this side, see if there's anything else. If not, we're going to enter the temple and fight... I'm guessing some kind of shadow, which is at the same time like a manifestation of their thoughts against their god. I guess they're blasphemous thoughts. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we'll go in. I mean, I don't really see a reason not to, except for the fact that you appear to be using a bow. There we go. Let's go. For the good. Oh, it's an empathic manifestation, which is badly Do injured. Don't give it that. Hate is here. Here is hate. Attack with anger. Feed the hate. The hate. A solid. Hate, suffering. I feed on these. They harm me not. I feed. <laughs> okay, you gonna die? My talents are a wasted on mistake. physical blows. <laughs> is there a way to kill it? It says it's taking damage, but I don't believe it. If it was taking damage, then it would be, like, dead. Here's an idea. What if we dominate it? I mean, it might die, but let's see. Did it even take a chance? Uh, maybe. Let's throw some more dominations in at it. Dominate it. You. Uh, dominate it. Okay, maybe we just have to walk past I it. Stand ready. You. It shall be. Walk. Embarrassing. We may need to grab the rod. With vengeance. Oh, none of this is what we're looking for, huh? Oh, he's too far away. Yeah. Using our jam bag. Keep looting. What does this say? There's a sense there's a sense of holiness about the altar. Everybody. Everybody. Actually you two first. Up to the up to the altar. If I must I understand. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I understand. <clears throat> Keep healing. Head to the altar. In Tom's name. I think we have to bait it here. up here. Turn off AI. I expect bait it up much. here. Hate suffering. Ready. I feed on those. They harm me not. I feed. Now kill it. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Don't Back yell. off. Yes, yes. A I'll turn on AI. Like you attack. I'm seeing whether we can kill it on the holy altar. No. There's a sense of holiness about this altar. Okay, you, you're gonna move. Also, Yan, you're gonna switch to your like old bolts because 
I don't want to waste the good ones. Same with you. You know, switch to this normal arrows. Okay. Consider it done. There's nothing here. Even hand to hand, I am dangerous. The sense of holiness about the altar. Huh. I don't know what we're meant to do here. It seems like this is a puzzle. I just don't understand the solution. Is there something we can put in the center? Take that! Did we actually we didn't get anything we needed, did we? No, we got the moon bar gem, which isn't what we need, and we got the other things. We didn't get the rod. That's the problem. We didn't get the rod thing that we were looking for. You will fall yet. Hmm. Huh. Do we just leave? I shall do my utmost. I probably should have left in an orderly fashion. Ah! Yan? Yan, run. Oh, I can do that. You, leave. Oh, labor it says it feeds help. on hate and suffering. Maybe you have to Got come it. in here with only good characters? You know what I'm saying? To battle and no, victory! Leave. Not leave. As you wish. You must gather your party before venturing so be it. forth. Yeah, maybe what we want to do. What if I, I just said hell to strike in there? a blow deep into evil's heart? There is no more worthy You cause. must gather your party before Beauty, you have to take everybody in here. If that is the secret, then we would have to lose people out of our party, which isn't ideal. Yes. Good. Hmm. You have failed, of course. You could do no other. Um. What manner of creature was in there? It actually wanted to attack me. I do not know and I do not care. You can do nothing here. There is no end to the duty. Rail against whatever beast is there, but it will do you no good. Was your god always as warlike as the beast in there? I do not know and I do not care. Okay, and the last one? Uh, uh huh. Hmm. In Interesting. Tom's name. I shall serve. So, can I speak to the children about the beast now? Who are you? Um, I can't leave until I get past the beast in the temple. What do you know of it? There's nothing in there. Don't tease me with your stories. We all got hurt long ago. Like cut scabs over, but doesn't heal. That's all I know. It's just pain for an old cut. A little itch when you hit it now and then. Don't know what you saw, but that place is a cut that won't heal. Uh-huh. Interesting. Interesting. I have a plan. I expected as much. Okay. I Stand shall do here. my utmost. Turn off AI. Ah. I mean, probably Lead like get Keldor and being hit. Keldor and hit it. Good is on our side this day. You will, I will fall do my yet. Best. Hit it, Keldor. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. <laughs> This is non-lethal damage. Interesting. Anyway, um... Keldorn? Uh, where's hold? Stop attacking. Aye, as you wish. Okay, Jahira? Cast heal. It is done. He killed it! Aha! The thing said heal several times, right? This kid said, where is it? We all got hurt long ago, like when cut scabs over, but doesn't heal. So we have healed it, therefore we have cured it. Who walks in the temple of I? Speak of yourself. You are almost beyond the sight of I. I could say the same of you. Are you the chief resident of this temple? I am I. The temple is I, though it is not safe for even I. The beast does kill my form repeatedly. You have slain it, but for a small time. It comes again and again. 25,000 XP. Ooh. The beast is a fell deity, for as more power than I can muster. My legion of followers feed the creature, and I am weakened and fading. Such power the beast has. Um, If this is your temple, then you have no legion. Your followers do not follow you. But they must serve. It is the letter of the agreement. 
They were to guard and I would provide for their lives. This was to be for all time. Hmm. Um. There must be... There must be an end. It has been so long they do not even recall your name. And it is little wonder I cannot defeat the beast. It is their loathing and pathos and has become their object of worship whether they know it or not. The time has passed and I have not here and will not again. Even the great device has waned into power and is not so epic a danger as once I thought. I, I understand. It is an avatar of a faded god, left guarding an item that has waned in power. Loathing has replaced the worship of his followers, a lingering fate. I weep for my children. Their hate sustains this place. Though they would intend otherwise, had they not thought of me at all, I would have perished, and soon after so would they. Is there anything I can do to help you? The letter of the bargain was that I protect the great device until the end of time. The creator races were very specific. I will reinterpret the words, for it is surely the end of my time. The intent of the bargain was that the great device would not be used again. If it is indeed the end of time, then my last act should be to destroy it. I have not the power to do so. It is needed first. Perhaps we could help each other. Yes! I see in your mind the way to release this place. You seek the great device for another, though you owe them no allegiance, and they intend to kill you. The cause is simple. You will take the great device, the piece that I possess, and ye shall combine it with the piece the creature already has. The assembled rod would surely destroy the beast. You must use the item upon the beast, and then return it to me. Use it but once, or you will perish under its power. Tell my people that you carry the piece that I give you. That you might deplete it. That you go to restore its components so that it may be disposed of as a whole. Not in part. My people must know I intend to destroy it when you return. But more, they must know I intend to end their service. This simple act of bringing together the two parts of the rod will instill a small amount of faith for an instant. If they are in my presence, such an instant will allow me to destroy the artifact. Um, have you not the power to do any of this? Why do you need me? The energies of my followers are directed at this place, not at me. Should I try to leave, I would likely lose my form, only to return in the temple some years later. You must do this. Their loathing sustains the cycle. I must have a moment of hope, such that I will be powered to free them. I will, give, I will help you. Give me the device. Take it and plant the seed of hope within my followers may not believe you now, but when you return, they will perhaps have a spark. I had to drop your item on the ground. I can carry no more. So, we have come all this way to f only to find that this item is practically useless. Bah, the device's effect on the beholder had better be worth it. Well, that's all very interesting, much more so than the last time I met a god. The last time you met a god? Ah, it was Alkma, the god of knowledge, although I can't really say I met him. I suppose I, as he was drunk and fast asleep in Cousin Rolfer's back lawn, or perhaps I should say on Cousin Rolfer's back lawn, he was a giant of an avatar sprawled out snoring. Why don't you get a god drunk? For shame, gnome. Alkma is a sober god, not at all like you describe. One should respect even those one does not worship. 
and does and not make them the butt of jokes. Uh, but it's true. Someone had run a mustache on him and yanked his underwear clear up to his shoulders blades. No idea who, but all I can think is that I must have been one hell of a party. But if you won't believe me, well, uh, as much as it hurts poor old Ian, I suppose there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Poor old Ian Janssen, he's such a liar. Boo hoo. I do like how the um, party members speak to each other. That's kind of neat. You didn't get a lot of that in uh, one. You got some of it, like in the main story, but it was only between, like, I guess, Jahira and Khalid and Min. Minsk and Dinahair? Is that her name? I, 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 can't, I forget. But yeah, I think you didn't really get, like, the same level of banter between people who just joined your party. That's kind of cool. Yes. Oh, also, what do we have? Yeah, there's the rod. Perfect. Well, I think that so seems like a good point to end the episode. We are halfway through the quest. I solved the puzzle all by myself, and I cheated through one puzzle slightly with saves coming, but we solved one, which is cool. And also, it's a neat way to do it. It's a puzzle that can only be solved if you actually listen to what the NPCs are telling you. It's done with context clues. It's done with the mechanics in game. I think that's kind of neat. Um. I'm trying to think of a way of describing it or, or what I like about it. Compared to how like a lot of puzzles are done in later Bioware ones, this one feels ingrained, if that makes sense. Take Knights of the Old Republic or Mass Effect, for instance. They both have the Tower of Hanoi puzzle in them, right? And in both cases, it's just an abstracted thing. So Tower of Hanoi is the one where you have to move. It's, you've got like the, the blocks of multiple different sizes on one uh, post and you have to move them to the other post and you have to kind of go through the same cycles to solve it it's like a fairly well-known puzzle anyway it doesn't matter in that one you the way it does puzzles is you arrive at the puzzle it presents the puzzle and then you have to solve the puzzle right and then you move on it's not using any mechanics that you have throughout the game it's just showing you a puzzle and saying solve it like the riddle in this one as well. It's it's not you. It's not necessarily using a mechanic in the game, although dialogue is kind of one of the game's mechanics here. But you know what I'm saying. It's not using the stuff that you use in combat to solve a a, a puzzle and get you past something. And um, while this one, it was like, hey, we're combining the combat side of things with the story side of things, and I think that's something that's kind of rare in terms of games is actually combining your combat system with your story system so that's cool i like to see it i'd like to see more of that anyway thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time goodbye